Hey gang, Gardner is here. How are you? Happy Monday, happy post-holiday Christmas if you're celebrating Christmas out there. Uh, for those of you that do and did, I hope it was and trust it was an amazing holiday for us. Uh, different holiday for many, still a holiday nonetheless. So a few things I wanna discuss. I've been in mad scientist mode the last two days, <laughs> 26 and 27th. Literally, literally mad scientist, because I've been working on pre-paving my podium moments. And so uh, we know, you've heard me talk in the last few weeks, especially on some podcasts, as well as uh, with Leave Zone Strategies and, and what we're discussing there in terms of how to assess what has transpired this year, and also use that effectively to, to steer or pre-pave what's happening um, in, in the year coming 2021. So, um, so I dove into my kitchen, my mad, my mad kitchen, my, my creating my recipe for success, my ingredients, a little bit of, a uh, little bit of courage, a little bit of contribution, sprinkled in some grace and some love and some fire and some pizzazz. And before I know it, two days later, I came out of it with my whole 2021 designed in a nutshell. So uh, do, I, do I have all the, all the uh, I's dotted and T's crossed and, and all the micro little events happen and logged in? No, nor do I give a rat's ass about those. What I'm concerned about are the, what I call podium events. So, these are usually three to four markers that I set for myself in the coming year, benchmarks, objectives, if you will. And it's language that I've used. It's language that comes naturally to me for being an athlete, podium. Uh, so what are my podium moments? And so I sat down uh, and I just started to prepave to design 2021 from scratch. So first thing I did uh, on that was to, to just sit with an intention for the year. What is, my, what is my word, if you will, for the year? How do I want the word to go, uh, the word, the, the year to go? That word becomes my anchor. That word becomes my true north compass point to always bring me back to present and reality uh, in any task that I'm doing. So for example, last year, uh, my word was blossom. That was my word of the year, to blossom. And uh, looking, back on, uh, looking back on my journey last year, fuck, I blossomed. I mean, I really truly feel that I stepped in to, uh, to myself i i took more ownership of of my voice of my uh my presence and my message and uh and it was really great to see it was it was a, again a compass point that kept me on course over last year and uh looking back i fucking nailed it out of the park so i took that uh i took that and i said okay well what where do i want this next evolution to go for 2021. And so now that I feel that I've started to, uh, I just felt like I did a Captain Kirk there, pardon me, Spock. Now that I feel that I shall, uh, anyway, uh, but I started to feel that I'm blossoming. Uh, now I, the word that landed for me was soar. Now it's all about soaring. It's, you know, I've, I've, I've left the launch pad now it's time for me to fly, to rise, to impact. And that's my, that's my intention for the year. So knowing that, uh, I sat with my next item on my prepave list, which was to, okay, create my podium moments. What are going to be my four markers that, uh, that are my goalposts, if you will, for the year. And, uh, and knowing that they're going to lay somewhere in the journey. It's not about they're all going to happen on 
you know, September 18th, 2021, uh, you know, one of the markers is in the spring, one is in the summer, and I have two in the fall next year. And so understanding what these events are is crucial. And then, then this is where the secret sauce comes in. This is where you need to sit with your podium moments and each of them and bring in an emotional resonance that will anchor it and take it from intellectual to heart led because that is where magic happens. That is where manifestation happens. So I sat and I sat. And so what I did is I, in my mad papers here and on my whiteboards over there, uh, I came up with four emotional anchors for each one of my four podium moments. Uh, and I felt why I chose four, it's just what I downloaded. And I feel like it, it felt like it gave me a good, a good kind of overall um, foundation coming at it from a few different emotional angles. And so, you know, what, for example, podium moment A, well, what, what would it feel for, for me to, to achieve that? Um, and then what would be, what would be my emotional response from the contribution of said podium moment to, to the world, to my community? How would that make me feel? And I sat with that. And so each podium moment is anchored in these four uh, emotional um, pins, if you will. So crucial, manifestation happens with emotional residency in the heart, boom. Always have to tie emotion to it. Uh, that is part of visualization. And that is part of actually um, making something intangible, tangible. When it's not only it's not enough to just to think about it, we need to get it out, hence the mad scientist, and uh, we need to attach an emotional weight to it. So um, now, after that, I have a framework. And so from that framework of those four podium events, I can start to reverse engineer and, and start to start to pencil in some strategic infrastructure to, to begin the journey. And, uh, and that's what I did. And, you know, we, in business coaching and business dynamics, we break it down into quarter one, quarter two, and so forth. And even for, for the personal realm, there's no, there's no reason why that doesn't work. It, it, and, and we do that with, with personal clients as well, in terms of just, you know, executive style coaching. This is my bucket list. Okay. When's the bucket list? Okay. We have six months. All right. So quarter one is this quarter two is this, these are our objectives. Uh, we assign a priority to the priority to those, and boom, we're off to the races. So um, I started to add the infrastructure in, and then what I did not do, very importantly, is I did not get caught up in all the the little nuances. I think it getting caught up in the you know the stained glass window of the cathedral or the uh, you know the the, the sliding doors. Uh, to the to the the structure that I'm building. I just wanted to build the framework. Now, as I move forward in 2021, and in my you know my my schedule architecture, which I'm I'm very strict with my scheduling and how I allocate my time and and rhythm to how I work. That's where I will have my assessment sessions where I go in and I assess the small stuff. Now that's where I start to apply the hows and all the little. The, the, you know, the, the minutia of bricks that make up the cathedral. So um, it was an amazing process. And, and the reason why I'm sharing it today, and, and, and you've heard me talk about this before as well, is just, it's, it's such a valuable tool. This is how what I, this is what I teach for a living. This is how I make a living as part of my coaching is, is doing this with clients. And I'm doing it with myself. Uh, as Isabel always says, treat yourself like a million dollar client. Well, here I am prepping myself, creating my plan, creating my architecture for success for 2021. And for those of you that don't have a business, remind you that we are all in a business and that is the business of ourselves. 
So in your personal development, as you strive for growth, whatever growth that is, treat it like a business. Always treat yourself like an athlete. It's why the two are parallel. This, these podium events, this periodization planning, if you will, is exactly what we do with high performance athletes. Exactly. We map out the year. We know the podium moments that happen in the year. And then we tailor all the training in a, in a specific rhythm to get to, you know, the, the, the Coliseum of, of podium events, if you will. So wanted to share that. And also, I'm just going to give you a quick sneak peek. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag yet because that's not how I roll. However, all of this chaos, you can see this. I'm going to just twit my little whiteboard over there. I got my whole thing planned out. I'm not going to get into it, but not but. And uh, I was pretty stoked with the end result. It gives me, gives me a lot of clarity, crystal clear on my objectives for the year, crystal clear on how I want the year to unfold, crystal clear on what I expect of myself, what I will demand of myself, because I don't like to use that word expectation, as you know, uh, and what I will understand and honor about what I deserve for 2021. All right. So podium moments, podium moments, find yours. And for each of you in each day, there's podium moments. Micro, They're not all these big gold medal events. It's all the little, the little things that, you know, the tough conversation with a partner, the, uh, the tough conversation with an employee, creating content that, you know, is a thorn in your side and it has to get done. Those are all podium moments. Remember how the lens we choose to perceive that will ultimately uh, put us in the driver's seat and put us in a flow lane. All right. I am signing off next time. I see you uh, on Monday. It will be a new year and I will be off and running on my game plan. I hope, uh, no, I trust that each of you will spend some time to find out uh, your 2021 and, uh, and design your podium moments so that you can maximize who you are, show up in this world and rock it. Love you guys. Mad love to the courageous. Peace.